Hey, what's up guys? What's going on? Welcome back to Kitchen Tonic. Welcome back to Vidmas. Welcome back to another brand new tasty Christmas food idea. In this video today, we're going to be making a Christmas classic and that is garlic pork guys. Yes, garlic pork. Sounds simple. Sounds like it's just two ingredients, but we do have a couple more ingredients we're going to be putting into this dish here. So to begin here, I have my pork here that I went ahead and I went ahead and removed the skin. I went ahead and also diced them up into cubes. I then went ahead and washed them with some water and lime. So basically I went ahead and did a lot of the heavy lifting and here we are now. So that's what you're going to need to do if you're going to do this recipe. Go ahead and remove the skin, go ahead and go ahead and dice your pork here and the kind of pork you're going to be needing or the part of the pig that you're going to be needing for this recipe is preferably the pork shoulder and the weight on the pork shoulder that i have here was five pounds but there was also a big hefty bone in the middle so i'm sure that amount has been reduced but we're not going to bicker over semantics moving on over here i have my garlic that we're going to be using for this recipe as well and over here i have three heads of garlic or three bulbs of garlic in this bowl here that i went ahead and peeled over here I have one tablespoon of salt, five hot spicy scotch bonnet pepper, some fine leaf thyme, and a nice big glass bowl that we're gonna be marinating the pork in. Now, you can use plastic or you can use glass and try not to use too many metals when you're marinating this recipe here. And of course, we're gonna need some vinegar that we're also gonna be using for this recipe here, but we'll get to that when the time arises now. To begin, we're going to jump over to, to my food processor where I'm going to basically just grind up all of the ingredients you see here into kind of a paste and place it on, a, on my pork here. So let's jump over and start doing that. All right, and here we are at my food processor here. And basically, I'm just going to add all my ingredients into my processor here. And we're just going to process everything. And I am going to cut my ingredients up here a bit so that it's easier on the processor to do its job. And that was my fine leaf time. I'm gonna go ahead and cut my peppers up and these are some nice hot spicy peppers. And this is a, gonna be a spicy recipe here guys. There's no going around that. I'm gonna go ahead and add my garlic to this processor here now as well. All right, guys, and basically this is what we have here after I finished processing my mixture here. And now we're going to move on over by placing this mixture onto our pork. All right, now here I have my pork here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and place my one tablespoon of salt onto this pork as well as my seasoning that I just went ahead and blended up here. And of course, you wanna go ahead and mix it in nicely. All right, and I'm gonna continue adding all of my blended ingredients here onto this pork. All right, guys, so now that I have all my pork here nice and coated with my garlic seasoning mixture I'm now gonna place some vinegar on my pork here until it covers the top of the pork all right guys and this is what we have here so far as you can see I placed enough vinegar in my bowl here to cover the entire top of my meat here or the contents in my bowl what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna place a a plastic bag or if you have saran wrap you can go ahead and place that on the top there as well and what we're gonna do here we're gonna create a nice seal for added freshness you want to create a nice seal on the top of your bowl or your container for nice added freshness guys and I'm also going to place my lid onto this bowl as well. 
And with that being said, this meat here or this garlic pork here needs to marinate for at least four to five days. Yes, you heard me right, four to five days. So I will be back in five days when it's time to continue with this recipe here. hello guys hello guys hello what's going on welcome back to my garlic pork here and i have had this container here with my garlic pork sitting outside of the fridge in a nice cool and controlled environment i have not opened up this container since six days ago i have no idea what's happening under this cover here so we're going to experience that together As soon as I remove that cover there, I can already get a nice whiff of my garlic and vinegar here. And as well as the pepper. And would you look at that guys, this is a nice beautiful masterpiece that you're looking at here. Now like I said, I had this pork here marinating or curing for six days. I soaked it Sunday night, which is the last clip that you see me preparing it and everything that was a Sunday night. It's now 1.30 p.m. Saturday, and we're gonna go get ready to, to finish off this recipe here. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna go ahead and strain out my pork out of this bowl here, and then we're just gonna place it into my frying pan, which I just placed on my stove. And we're not gonna add any oil or any grease or anything to the pan. We're just gonna place the pork to fry in its own fat. Yes, it's frying its own fat, that's why we chose pork shoulder but you want to be careful in terms of how you're marinating or curing your pork here because it can be a source for bacteria and food poisoning and all that because I know some people like to dilute the vinegar with some water because they don't like the tart flavor that you're going to get from this lovely dish here but when you do that you're playing with the possibility of food poisoning guys and also you can go ahead and add some sugar or whatever you want to add in order to help combat that tart vinegary taste that's gonna be a result of the vinegar that we've soaked this pork here in. So I'm gonna go ahead and strain out my pork out of this vinegar here. Next, The next clip you guys are gonna see is a clip of me put placing this pork into my pan that is already on the stove. Okay guys, so here we are over my, at my stove here. I have my pan here nice and hot and I'm gonna go ahead and place my pork or directly into the pan no grease or anything like I've mentioned all right I have my strainer here with my pork and I'm just gonna go ahead and drop this directly in there all right guys you do want to make sure your the area you're making this pork in is well ventilated because you're gonna have a nice aroma of vinegar all over your house you also want to make sure that you're wearing a clothes that you probably don't pr plan on wearing for a few days because this smell is also going to seep into your clothes. But for now, what I'm going to go ahead and do, I'm going to cover my pan down here. Because it's been soaking for six days, it has absorbed a lot of vinegar. So within the period of me covering it here, it's going to release a lot of the, that vinegar. And then you're going to see a lot of liquid in my pot here. And then we're going to allow that liquid to simmer and the pork to finally start frying in its own fat. But all of that is to come, so stay tuned. Alright guys, so as you can see here, what I want to show you guys is all that liquid that will be sprung from your pork here. And that's why you don't want to add any more grease or anything to your pot. As you can see the amount of water that, that sprung from your pork. So what I'm going to go ahead and do now, I'm going to allow this to simmer back down until the water is absorbed and then we're then gonna allow the pork to start cooking in its own fat so i'll be back when there's some kind of cooking of the pork in its own fat going on all right guys all right all right all right so this is what i have here so far as you can see because i allowed my pork here to soak in the vinegar for six days my pork did end up disintegrating because the normal time frame that you usually leave it soaking is about four to five days but because I added that six day 
my pork here end up looking like more of pulled garlic pork or pulled pork but same great taste guys so what I'm gonna do here because my pork is disintegrated this way I'm gonna leave it to cook a little more just to ensure that it's thoroughly cooked because we don't want to be playing with any kind of food poisoning or, or anything so you do want to make sure that your pork here has a nice color to it as you can see there's a bunch of color coming in on my pork here but I am gonna leave it there to cook which is gonna be around the one hour mark that I have it simmering here and cooking to make sure that it's thoroughly cooked and that there's no and that there's no unwanted experiences by eating this pork here so with that being said I want to thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow with a brand new recipe brand new video we wish